Interestingly, a geologist who was travelling with us in Egypt made an astute observation that connects the wedge and chisel method to the stone nub phenomenon found around the world. On many megalithic sites, we can find both large and small stone nubs or protrusions coming out of the blocks, and it's a mystery that's been explored by many researchers. If your quarrying method is wedge and chisel with the aim to split stone blocks, then it's incredibly unlikely that you'll end up with a nub as a result. Wedge and chisel quarrying either splits the stone in a mostly straight line or it fails and only a chunk of stone is removed. A good example of a failure is seen here when an attempt to split a slab from the huge megalithic granite blocks of the Assyrian failed, leaving only the corner removed. You just don't get nubs from wedge and chisel quarrying, and it's a seemingly obvious connection when you think about it, but it's not one that I'd made before.